Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking if I to be down here, Michael, on this, I don't know what afternoon. I think it's Friday afternoon. It's Friday afternoon. So, uh, I just got done working out for the week, uh, taking it easy this week. Uh, go check out all the videos. Go check out the other 3,000 videos whilst you're at it. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Get my channel out there. I'm trying to get to about 10 million subscribers. I'm almost to 1,000 subscribers. I'm like at 800 and some change. Man, we're almost there, guys. So what's this video about? Well, we're just going to hang out and watch me make something to eat. Why not? Fun stuff, guys. Fun stuff. What did I drop? But, uh, so we got a nice rotisserie chicken here. I love these things. Super easy to get. Go out and buy. Anybody can eat healthy. These things are healthy. I get traditional, which has got a little less of anything on it. It's just kind of plain for the most part. So we're going to be having this. Let me put it on the table. Uh, going to be having salad. I'm going to make a chicken salad. Yum. I will be adding a little bit of baby spinach to it. Baby spinach is quite a bit more healthy than your typical iceberg kind of lettuce. So... We got some chopped olives. I do like some olives. I do like some olives. Uh, This is probably a week or so old, but I'm gonna see how it looks once I open it up. Some broccoli cuts and some plastic cheese. Mmm, plastic. Mm -hmm. Heck, we still got lettuce. I had some bad looking lettuce though. still some pretty good lettuce and it's like a month older probably. And I'll probably do my Greek vinaigrette dressing. throw some of this away and put this on the table and I'll see you over at the table over there so guys you know things are going to get a little bit serious when you see a trough come out these things are great and uh, they hold the foods nicely So anyway, yeah, this week, you know, it was a pretty good week, even though I took it easy. It was a pretty good week. Um, I did have some weird schedule issues where I got started late a couple times or had to do some stuff. And so, you know, but it's always, it's always good to kind of throw yourself off a little bit sometimes. That way you get used to not being in the perfect world because sometimes things happen. I might use this. You know, sometimes things happen and uh, 
So it's good to mix it up a little bit. Throwing your days off here and there. Got a little bit of goodies here. And like I said, we'll add a little bit of baby spinach. I don't have to do a crazy amount. You know, every week I push myself uh, pretty hard. And, uh, you know, when, you, when you're wanting to make gains and you're wanting to get somewhere, you got to kind of push yourself. So, But then there's times when it's nice to kind of take it easy. I don't know if that's mold or what, but we're going to go for it. I don't know. You'll know if I end up dead. If you don't see me put a video out for a while, you know I'm dead. And just to make sure I die real good, we're going to put a lot in here. Oh well. But yeah, you know, uh, when you're working out as hard as I do and as hard as a lot of you out there do, and you're doing it naturally, and you might be over the age of 18, uh, You know, it, it takes a lot out of you. Even though I got an easy job, I just drive a school bus a couple hours a day. You know, I, I still get worn out. And it's a mental thing as well. So, uh, working out is not easy. But neither is doing. Other things that you could be doing that's healthy, like running around and doing all kind of great, amazing things that you do when you run around, whatever that is. You know, I've mentioned before how, you know, we're not kids anymore. And, uh, you know, as kids, we're always out running around and riding bikes and climbing trees and swinging and sliding and playing chase and playing some sports and... And, and building tree houses and just going, going, going. Or you did when I was a kid. So, you know, you got to think, you know, as an adult, what are we going to do to stay healthy and fit? Because we're not really doing all that stuff anymore. But even though we, we can, we can still do that stuff. It just, it's just not stuff we typically would do. So what do we do instead is we work out. So that's that's really what working out is. It's kind of taking the place of all the activities and things we did as kids and kind of putting a different adult spin on it, I guess. You know? Um... So whenever people talk about working out and and uh, it's a waste of time and what are you accomplishing and, and all this stuff, you're accomplishing a lot. Uh, you're staying healthier for one. Even if you don't change your diet, you're still staying healthier than people that don't do anything and still have a cruddy diet. You're still a step ahead of them. So... You have to stay active. You have to do things. Even if it's cleaning your house and planting gardens, doing farm work, all that stuff. That's incredibly hard work. And you're staying fit by doing that. So, you know, people underestimate the value of being able to move, being mobile, being active. Being able to run around and keep up with your kids, your grandkids, or or your significant others, boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever. Um, there's a lot of importance in those things. I'm putting a lot of chicken. A lot of chicken. Why? Because that's where the protein's at. The protein. So in there for some more goodies.
Let me get a paper towel. It's that cat over there. Get off my foot. Yeah, keeping yourself busy is the key to life. And, uh, and it don't have to just be physical stuff. You do need some physical stuff in there. You need some strength training of some sort, whether it's just body weight exercises or machines or free weights or something. You need that. But you also need that other sort of form of exercise into you know, other hobbies and other things that are out there for you to enjoy. There's a buttload of things for you to enjoy and to do rather than just sitting around, you know, vaping and playing on your phone while Netflix plays in the back. Uh, there's a lot more to do in life. Case in point, I make noise on drums. That's fun. Sometimes frustrating because I want to be better. But it'll happen. Case in point, I also like to do art projects with my grandkids. Or with anybody. Whether it's coloring, or painting by number, or painting a canvas, or drawing, or anything. Uh, it's nice to do things like that. I also like photography. I used to do a lot of photography. And I don't really do it much anymore. Just periodically, I might take something that I consider a photograph. Um, but yeah, uh, there's all kind of stuff you can do. You know, people make rugs. Go make a rug. There's a channel I'm subscribed to. I think, I think it's called Nerd Forge or something like that. In her latest video, she just made a ginormous rug. So, and uh, they do some crazy stuff. <laughs> so, I know you can't really see it probably, but, Here's my salad. But yeah, really it's, it's just about being active and doing things, even playing video games. I know you're not technically active, but you're working your mind. You're working your reflexes and skills that, that are inside of your body. <laughs> you know, you're working out different kind of skills and things. So even playing some video games is fine. It's just a matter of, you know, limiting things and making sure you do other stuff. Man, I don't know if I want this or my... Or this. That's a tough choice, guys. A tad bit healthier choice, maybe. Mmm. Mmm. Alright, we'll go with this. Dang it. But I'm the one that buys this, so it's only mine, so I'm the only one that eats it. That's what I like about getting some stuff, because nobody else eats it. <laughs> so you kind of get it to yourself. You don't have to worry about it being taken by someone else. A little bit of a bite there. I got a lot of chicken in it. So, as far as my working out goes, everything I've done so far, I've exceeded my expectations to some degree eventually, I'll say. Now, if you kept up with my channel for any length of time, you know I set certain long-term goals. And I gave up on those long-term goals because I felt like I was just at my limit. But I wasn't. I just needed to rearrange some things and, and get my mind back on the game and uh, get that fight back in my heart. And uh, in some cases, even kind of learn how to do the movements a little better. And uh, maybe not even, you know, do them 
by the book, but do them to a point, you know, where my body can accept the movement. Case in point, my squats. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say my squats aren't by the books or anything, but they're, they might not be. I don't know. I don't really care how other people look at things as perfect. As long as we get to our goal, as long as we're doing the motion and it's how it kind of should be, you know, I, I'm kind of iffy on that. That's why I'm stuttering around my words because I'm, I'm really open to, you know, there's not just one way to do it. If you want to squat to here, squat to here. If you want to squat to here, squat to here, squat to here, squat to here, squat to here. Do whatever you want. But competition or or what's looked at as a normal, you know, correct squat, we got to kind of go by what's out there and what we got to go by. So I think that my squats have come a long way, and I think that if I did them in a competition, they'd be fine. Uh, I just don't know if they're considered textbook or not. I don't really know. But the fact of the matter is, I didn't, I didn't completely, sorry, I didn't completely give up on my goal of squatting 405 pounds. I went ahead and I kept working and kept working and kept working. Even though I said I was done, I kept working and kept working. Until I finally got it. And now I do it every time. And with my deadlifts, once I got to about 450, uh, about 450, maybe 455, somewhere in there, I said I was done. There's no way I could reach 500. But then I switched my techniques up around a little bit. I started doing some elevated deadlifts uh, where my plates are about two inches off the floor. And doing those consistently helped me to break through those sticking points to where I finally pulled 500 pounds. And I've done that now, I don't know, three or four times. So, really the only thing we're working on is my bench press. And sometimes, really, the I think what's holding me back there, like I mentioned to a lot of you before, is not having a spotter. So... You know, there's, there's been times whenever I felt like I could have done 400 pounds. But, I'm not going to do that without someone there to help me. But we're going to get it. Now, you know, I know I'm on borrowed time. Number one, none of us know when we're going to die anyway. And, but not only that, it's just I am getting older. And you've only got so much strength for so long, especially when you're natural. So I know I, you know, I know I need to get on the ball and try and get that. And, uh, I met a guy on YouTube and, uh, uh, he has a channel, Clarksville Barbell Club, and his name is Brad, and, uh, and he's building a, a gym in Clarksville, Tennessee, which is only about an hour or so from me, and uh, I told him, you know, uh, whenever you get that gym built, that's where I'm going to bench my 400 pounds, and uh, I've, I've made sure he knows that, and, and uh, he's welcomed me there uh, to come and do that when, it, when they open. So it's still a little ways away. There's still months away, but uh, I believe that that's what I'm probably going to do is try to make that my goal is to do my 400 pound bench at that gym.
Unless that happens sooner. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't have anybody I trust really enough. You know, because 400 pounds is a mental game as much as anything. When you lay there on that bench and imagine that you got 400 pounds up over your face, that's a lot of weight. Now, I have done 385. That's a lot of weight. And, uh, but still, you know, it, it's a mental game that I'm going to have to try to get over. Once I get that, you know, I've said before, one and done. All I care about is if I get it one time and I'm done with all my lifts. But of course, I've done a 500 pound deadlift now three or four times from the floor and even two or three more times, three, four, whatever more times elevated. I've done my 405 pound squat multiple times now, even one set of two reps. So, but still, even with my bench press, I'm saying that it's one and done. As long as I can get it that one time, I don't care if I ever get it again. That don't mean I won't try it again. So, I'm just, you know, I'm just ready to get it done. These are, things, these are things I should have done 20 years ago when I was working out. But I didn't have the discipline. I wasn't disciplined at all. I'd miss a week. Miss a day here, miss a day there. No problem. Miss a month. Miss a year. I didn't understand See, I've always had a passion for bodybuilding and working out and just strong, strong people. I've always had a passion for that. All the way back to when I was just a little kid. But you don't realize how much dedication that you've got to put towards these things sometimes and the importance of it. And the importance of making a goal. See, all the years that I worked out before, I didn't really have a goal. You know, I might say, well, I'm going to bench 300 pounds today. Okay, I mean, it's not a goal. That's just something I know I can do. You know, I never really looked at it back then and said, I'm going to get to 405 pounds. Never said that. I don't recall ever saying that in my 20s, 30s, or into my early 40s when I stopped. working out or doing any sort of activity like this, sports or anything, you've got to have some kind of goal because that's what helps to drive you. And uh, that's kind of what I figured out on this, you know, on this new adventure that I've been on since uh, 2021. Uh, technically three years now. I think I started maybe in March of 2021. And uh, here we are, March 2024 at the end of it. And I'm still going. So, if there's anything I can tell y'all out there, 
that's looking to to do anything like this, that you gotta you gotta give it your all. Those days that you don't want to work out, you gotta work out. When you don't want to eat, which is me most of the time, you gotta eat something. You gotta have the nutrients in your body to some degree to try and do this. I'm kind of maybe a weird anomaly because there's days when I might just eat breakfast early in the morning and nothing else and still get a good workout in. Now what that does is it's probably hindering any real muscle growth. I'm still maybe getting strong, but I'm not getting, you know, I don't have a pretty body. I look like a potato. And that's what I've been saying for a long time. Since I turned 30, when I turned 30, I started slowly turning into a potato. I don't know. It just happens. And, uh, I used to be kind of cute. I actually had a decent, you know, shape body. I, I wasn't muscly, but, well, I was kind of muscly <laughs> a little bit, but... I was just a little, you know, you're, you're prettier when you're younger. <laughs> Things change when you get older. And, uh, unless you've been on top of your game your whole life, things change when you get older. And we're not all the same. There's some people who never worked out a day in their life and they're built like, you know, a bodybuilder, you know, someone that's in track and field or someone that's in uh, gymnastics. That's what they look like. Never even work out. Live on McDonald's and chewing tobacco. So, of course, going into next week, it's the same schedule, same thing. But uh, hopefully I'll be kind of more rejuvenated and ready to hit the harder weights a little bit. And uh, maybe my body appreciated giving it just a little bit of, a little bit lesser weight. So... And, uh, you know, oddly enough, and it's, it's crazy to even think, crazy to even say, but I don't know where my squats will end. I have done 415 now. Can I really squat 425? That's crazy. You know, I'm one of those people that anytime I tried to squat, I was doing half squats. Well, that's all I can do. That's all I got. That's what my body does. That's how I'm, that's all I can do. That's it. I'm happy with it. It's good enough. You guys do what you want. I can only do what I can do. That was my mentality for years. And then one day, and, and I, I again, I'm going to give credit to the Smith machine that I got, because I really started utilizing the Smith machine for my squats, and it allows you to go down as far as you want to go down, and not have to worry about dumping the weights, not have to worry about your balance side to side or anything. You go down, as long as you push it weight up, you can push it up. So, uh, the Smith machine taught me how to do that, how to see that I can actually go that low. It's just up here. But it's not just up here, it was also, my legs weren't strong enough at the bottom. So using that Smith machine to allow you to go all the way to the bottom safely, 
then all you got to do is worry about working on the strength it takes to come out of the hole, come out of the bottom. Pay no attention to the sink. So for those of you struggling on squats, I highly recommend the Smith machine. Don't listen to any of the goofy little gym rats out there that try to put Smith machine down when all the greats in the sport have used them. Everyone. It's a tool. Utilize all the tools you can. Yeah, but once I started, once I noticed in my videos that I was actually hitting parallel, I was blown away. I just never, I never thought I'd see the day doing a good squat. That's why you never give up. Never give up. Other people might give up on you, but don't give up on yourself. Because at the end of the day, you're the one that matters. So, having said that, this is a long video. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm going to finish eating off camera. And uh, anyway, I hope everybody enjoys my videos, enjoys my channel, enjoys kind of connecting with me. And uh, I try to be a real legit personality, a real person online. I bring my troubles and my tribulations to the, to the table as well. Just to let you see, I am real. I am a real boy. And uh, I think that that's good to do. Because like I mentioned before, you put situations out there for people to hear and see, and they might can help you in some way. And by you putting your troubles and tribulations in your real life out there, sometimes uh, you might can help someone else. You know, seeing that they're not alone and that what you're doing to try to help things or what have you, you know, you can always help another person. So, I, I'm, I'm pretty big on being myself. So, anyway, guys, I hope I give you a little inspiration throughout your day, your week, your month, or your year to do something healthy for yourself inside and out. Like a big old chicken salad. Yum. Oh, I'm going out of town tomorrow to Nashville to a, a drum store. We might do some filming on that. We'll see. Anyway, where was I? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. I don't even know if that's where I was, but that's where we're going. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Oh, let's get up, get out, get red, do it. We'll see you next time on the body beat down. Probably sometime after I finish my salad. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!